Hey, good morning. Uh, this morning I'm going to do a video on aluminum corrosion. And uh, I get a lot of questions about that. I do uh, um, videos on the airplanes that I built. This is my second airplane that I built. And I have a playlist with all the different videos of the different stages of the builds. And in the comments section on my YouTube channel, I think the most, the most prevalent question I get is, why am I not protecting my aluminum with some sort of a co corrosion inhibitor? Um, and so let me show you here my aircraft. This is a Sling TSI. It's an experimental home-built airplane. Um, and it is all aluminum. The, the entire airplane is built from aluminum, where my previous airplane was a combination of fabric covering and aluminum. And so you'll notice that everything is bare aluminum. And a lot of people are wondering, why are you not doing anything to protect this aluminum from corrosion? So I want to talk about the various types of aluminum that are used to build airplanes. And specifically, I think the two most common are, uh, this, this is a, called 6061T6. And this sheet is called 2024T3. And those are two types of aluminum that I have encountered that are used to build airplanes. And so what does it mean with corrosion inhibitor? For example, this is an example where that piece of aluminum was allodyne, and it's a chemical process that actually uh, promotes uh, uh, corrosion resistance. And a lot of airplanes you'll see, uh, especially these sling TSIs, people are doing that. And that's, uh, that is a way to protect the uh, aluminum from corrosion. In fact, some people will even take it to the next step and then they will go ahead and hit it with a primer to also protect it. Sometimes that's a, a zinc chromate type of primer. Um, but I'm not doing that. And I wanna show and share with you why that is. I've got a... I've got a uh, little thing here on my computer I'm going to share with you right now. So it's important to understand that there are different types of alloys with aluminum. Uh, we could take a look at those here. Um, this is a table I put together that are the most common alloys. Uh, the, the two that are highlighted are the 2024 and the 6061 that I showed you here a minute ago. But there are other types. You've got 1100, which is used for kitchenware, decorative trim, food processing. 2011, used in parts requiring extensive machining. Uh, this is a 2014. It's got copper in it. It's also used in the aerospace structural application. I've not encountered 2014, and I don't think in our world uh, these smaller general aviation experimental built airplanes are using that, but they may. I haven't personally encountered it. Uh, we've got uh, the 2024, which is a high strength and fatigue resistance, uh, but the corrosion resistance is very low on that type of aluminum. This is a widely used, uh, 3003 30, is widely used in uh, all aluminums. It can be welted, welded or brazed. You've got 5052, which is a high strength. It's uh, more of the non-heat treated uh, high strength aluminum. And then 6061, which is the type of aluminum that I'm using or is used in these sling aircrafts. Um, and this is going to, I'm going to describe to you why that is not an important to be doing corrosion uh, inhibitors on that aluminum because of the fact it is known for uh, its um, co combined with exceptional corrosion resistance. 6063 is an architectural alloy that's used in trim. Uh, decorative applications, and then 7075 is the highest strength available and is used in high stress parts. So the two common alloys, again, used in uh, aircraft kits like the one we have here is the 2024 T3 and then the 6061 T6. So let's, uh, I'm going to talk about the T designation in a minute, but the T designation refers to the tempering process. Um, this is 2024 T3, and we'll talk about what, why it's a good quality aluminum. Uh, many airplane kits use this 2024 aluminum for skinning and for structural components. 
Um, in fact, the aluminum skin material in the last aircraft that I did build, which was a, which was a Bear Hawk, uh, it came with the 2024 T3 aluminum in the wings and in some of the cowling pieces. Uh, it's a high strength aluminum that has very high fatigue resistant qualities and it should be anodized or treated with a zinc chromate due to its composition. And the purpose for that is because the composition has a presence of intermetallic particles on the surface, which makes it more prone to corrosion. Uh, again, most of the parts I received in my previous kit were primed at the factory with a zinc chromate primer, which looks like this. So these were the wings on that previous airplane, and you can see that green means that everything internally on that uh, that wing right there was a primer to protect the corrosion, protect it from corrosion. So let's talk about the 6061 T6, which is, this is the type of aluminum I'm currently using uh, on this build project, the Sling TSI. 6061 is also a high strength to weight ratio, making it ideal for applications where weight reduction is very important. Um, it has a high uh, tensile strength, which ranges between 20 to 42 KSI, uh, with KSI being the unit of stress. It has good weldability. It can be welded using various methods, including MIG, TIG, and SPOT. Uh, good machinability can be uh, machined using various techniques, including uh, milling, drilling, and tapping. And again, it's corrosion, good corrosion resistance, making it suitable for applications where exposure to moisture uh, or chemicals is a concern. So what is the T in 6061 T6? What does that stand for? Well, it means tempering. Um, but there are also various types of other tempering that are used in these alloys. And there are five types, in fact, and those include, number one, the T, which is what this type of aluminum has, is, is referred to as the thermally treated you have H, which is what they call strain hardened. Uh, o, which means it is annealed, which is a different heat process. F is as fabricated or raw. Um, w is a solution heat treated type of tempering. And then the number scale, you see this six number here. Uh, numbering scale is from one to 10 is the level of heat followed by quenching, cooling, and aging. So for example, with the 6061, on a scale of one to 10, it is a six. And on the 2024, on a scale of one to 10, it is a three. So that tells you what the T stands for. And so uh, why is 6061 T6 exceptionally corrosion resistant? Well, um, it, it, it all has to do with the creating of that, that uh, that alloy, uh, which involves a billet, which is a block or, of, of, of aluminum, and that, that block is, is in its current condition in a 60610 or O, which is annealed, and that aluminum is heated to more than 900 degrees. It is then water quenched. It is then aged for several hours at a lower temperature, and a small amount of chromium is included to improve corrosion. And then also, one more thing about this uh, is also enhanced by its composition, which does include magnesium and silicone. So uh, different than the 2024, which has the, the uh, uh, metal particles that would be when exposed to air and things like that would cause that 2024 to be more corrosive the 6061 does not so that's really why i've uh, chosen not to do this uh, corrosion inhibitor i just don't think it's necessary uh, i'm going to be keeping my airplane in a hangar uh, operating in dry climates um, but i even even still i think if it was outside it just wouldn't have the type of uh, uh, you know, susceptibility to corrosion that other types of aluminum would have. I've even re heard people refer to 6061 T6 aluminum as the stainless steel of aluminum. So 
that really kind of defines and, and gives me my choice for not doing such. And here is an example. Uh, this is all the aluminum components inside the cockpit of the Sling TSI, and you can see nothing in this airplane has been uh, treated for corrosion inhibitor. And I thought I'd share a few slides just to get an idea. This is what a Sling TSI looks like after it's been completely built. Uh, I've got a couple of slides here that uh, demonstrate that. This is uh, another one that was built, a guy by the name of Mike McGee, uh, who's big on our Facebook group, and uh, has created his own, he's got his own YouTube channel as well. And that's his Sling TSI. Um, here is another one. I'm not sure where this one is. I think this one is uh, overseas somewhere and then finally this picture here is what my uh, paint scheme will look like I've, I've elected to use this paint scheme and I will be painting um, my airplane in my hangar here using an inflatable paint booth but that's the paint scheme that I did select so so I hope that helps uh, in my ex uh, explanation as to why I did I chose not to use um, any sort of a corrosion inhibitor. In fact, if I do want to do any corrosion protection, I can use something like this. This is called Corrosion X, um, and there are actually places on this airplane, for example, um, where that wing spar carry through goes through and connects to the bottom. We do put a corrosion inhibitor in there. Uh, because it's just such a, uh, it, it's such a structurally important part of the airplane that, you know, you just want to make sure you've got that protected. But there's no real need, at least in my opinion, to do the entire aircraft with an corrosion inhibitor. Um, so there it is. That's, uh, that's my discussion on aluminum.